Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, welcome back to the Transport Fever 2 mainline and you know it's going to be one of those episodes when I open up with one minute and five seconds of a toe tapper to get you in the mood. Here you go, toe tapper, getting you in the mood. What we're looking at here is this is Iron Forge and, uh, and I've, I've slightly enhanced the view of my bank balance while we uh, whiz things forward. The game's at maximum speed and then I've, I've multiplied that by a factor of five as well just to, you know, show it in action this is like 10 minutes worth of footage anyway look i mean the point is is right there is my bank balance is all over the shop which can only mean that there's something really bad that just isn't working and uh unsurprisingly i'm going to spend the next 40 or so minutes uh exploring exactly what the problem is and, and poking it with a stick and I, i'll be honest with you we're going to follow one train while uh, it wends its way around the network badly and uh see if that doesn't help make things all better right there you go toe tapper done intro okay so i have reversed time and uh, and we're now back to where we were just before i i hit the accelerator and watched everything go to pieces why is it going to pieces why are we not getting on with things and instead we're looking at this rather magnificent train combination coming in well, these are other questions I will hope to answer in a, in a matter of moments. Um, so, here's the, here's the thing. It is the mainline that's causing the problem. And there's, there's fundamental problems with, uh, with running a mainline service like this that uh, I may talk about shortly. I may not, but I may. Uh, because before we started mucking about improving the whole track, and I'm going to be using air quotes when I say improving, uh, we were printing money like there was no tomorrow. After improvements, the uh, the money printers run dry. Uh, I shall now illustrate why we are having such trouble uh, as the account ticks down to about the 75 million mark super. Uh, if we go to our vehicle statistics sheet, I know everybody loves a vehicle statistics sheet. Uh, let's uh, let's make this large enough so that you can possibly observe the number. Just just give me the give me the that's it. Yeah, that. There we go. Now let's sort this by profitability. These are the services that are losing me money. And you will go, oh, these all look jolly similar, don't they? Yes, that means that in the last period, that particular service has made no money, which is why they're all exactly the same. I bought them all, all exactly the same time, so their maintenance costs are identical, and that's what it's costing me to keep it in place. Rename Shermer is a... That we, I've got to look at that. Uh, the Sky Dome's never made money. I'm okay with that one, but we're looking at the main line. You've got all of these services that are costing me eight million a pop, and you go, oh, well, maybe the big boy wasn't such a good idea. At the top end of the list, however, uh, 12 million, 12 million, 11, 11. No, it's a, it's a very good idea. It's just that some of them are misbehaving. And you go, oh, okay. So uh, why are they misbehaving? Let's just let's pick this one, right? Just, just a totally random train. Uh, this one is going towards the Silent Hill station. Okay. Right. It's just gone through Shermer without stopping. I think you see where we're going with this. Yeah, it's just gone through Shermer without stopping. And Shermer is, uh, it's, it's not a million miles away from Silent Hill, but neither are they next door neighbours. Uh, you've got to go past UP, yeah, and then you've got to go past Grazer Ridge, yeah, and then you've got to go past Silent Hill. And you kind of go, oh, Ruddy Nora. Uh, Ruddy Nora is right. Um, no, this is, this, is a, this is a catastrophe, uh, because it means that all of those trains that are currently losing me money, let's, let's choose another one, shall we? Well, okay then. Uh, bring this back up. Let's, let's choose train 88, please. All right, where are you going to? You're going to Iron Forge. Oh, goody. That's what we've been working on lately where are you at the moment uh you are currently well that's not on that's the citadel okay again not a million miles away from iron forge but neither is it anywhere near where it's supposed to be and it should i mean these are mainline stations it can stop at any of them and uh, and generate a uh, a pretty penny or two or 12 million um, well, it's doing an overtaking move. Hang on, we'll, we'll watch this. I've overtaken a train going backwards. What's not to like? Oh, yeah. Oh, burn it off. I'm loving it. That's terrific. Yeah, good stuff. 
Now, I want to replace all these trains that are running backwards. I mean, I've, I've spoken about them often enough, um, and I, I genuinely do. And it's no longer... Uh, the, that I had, the no reverse mod on, means that some of the trains are stuck running backwards permanently, uh, whereas, uh, whereas other trains that are, that are facing the correct direction will automatically flip and, and keep going in the right direction. Uh, where are you coming out? You're going to come out over here somewhere. Crikey, this is a long bit of underground. Ah, sometimes you have to... You say that. Where's it going? It looks like it might be going via Hill Valley, which is an odd choice given that Hill Valley is in fact a passenger only station. Now, we do mix our, our passenger and rail routes at some point, but even so, this is a, a slightly colourful choice of route that you've gone for here. I mean, so far, we're going to follow it all the way to the destination. We're going to, we're going to try and unpick this puzzle. We'll work through all of the non-earning trains. Because I suspect by the time we get there with this, uh, with this cowpoke, uh, that, that some of the problem will have been sorted. Now, one of the things I could do is I could just flip the train round in the other direction and it would choose a new destination. <laughs> hopefully one a little closer to where it is. That was <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Which is essentially saying, uh, uh, oh sure, we can hope for that, but it isn't going to happen. Um, no, hold the faith. Uh, keep your spirits high. Let's see where we're going. As long as it doesn't flip onto the wrong side of the track, we should be fine. But I've got enough one-way signals hither and yon to uh, to kind of sort that out. Uh, it says press H to sound the horn in the top corner. Shall I do that for you? Yeah, it's not like you haven't heard that before. Anyway, you know, drink it in. Um, right, so uh, we're still we're still heading out on a passenger line at the moment. Uh, this is yet to be merged, and we're we're bleeding off speed because obviously it's a long haul train. And we're going uphill. Uh, that rock looks a little precarious, but that's all right. I feel I feel relatively safe at the moment. I'm not even entirely sure where we're going. Where were we just now? Hill Valley. We've got to be getting close to the Citadel. Hold this head. Which I think is where we're going. Are we going to the Citadel? Isn't this the one that was going to Ironforge? I don't know. Oh, okay, good. Well, you could look it up. Let's look it up. It's going to Ironforge. It's nowhere near where it needs to be. We're going to be watching this train for the next 20 minutes. And more than that, it's facing the wrong ruddy way. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me is right, because that means that this train is going to be a non-earner for quite some time. So what I will do, let's see if this works out, is I'm going to look for the uh, the next set of reversing points that we've got on this run at which point i will no 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 no. you've got to wait until you're back on the freight line this is not the main line this is a passenger branch you sure what's that then well okay that certainly looks like freight that's uh, because it is but there's nothing to suggest that that one too is not lost yeah might well be lost might well be don't know don't know yeah, yeah, it's, it's very hard to say for sure. There'll be a station in a minute, and then we'll know for sure. Because yeah, if the station has got freight waiting there, then we'll be able to say, hey, freight station. If it hasn't, we'll be able to go, oh, passenger station. Now, where are we going? Where, where does this go? It's been such a long time since I built this, I couldn't honestly remember where this is supposed to end up. I could, of course, turn my attention to another train, but no one train at a time. And we'll, with this one, we will try the uh, reverse it trick to see if we can't get it to pick a station that's slightly closer. Now, the other thing, of course, I did, while we're here, I, I figure I might as well talk about the main line and its problems. The main line and its problems stem from the fact that freight behaves in a very weird way. Um, when you set up a, a freight route... It doesn't necessarily... So, no, not even that. When you set up a freight producer, it doesn't necessarily want those goods to go anywhere nearby. It kind of goes like, ah, oh, it's connected all the way over the other side of the map. They're my customers. And you go, well, that's, that's not exactly helpful now, is it? Um, so rather than it... You know, the, and the problem you get from connecting up a main line, that's a passenger station, um, is, that, uh, is that every station takes every type of goods. 
So it will red, red, readily and randomly pick a station over the other side of the map, which means that you're going to stop off at various stations along the way and, on occasion, unload absolutely nothing. Now, that in itself isn't too big a problem, because when you get to the far end, given the distance covered, you will have a quite a happy payday. But, oh, I see, I see where we are. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. I get it. Any chance we could switch over onto the correct line? That would be really helpful if we did. Yeah. So there's the, the that bridge up there. That's the freight helix. Yeah. This, where we are now, this is the passenger helix. Yeah, we shouldn't be on here, but they all lead to Dark City. I am going to wait and see if this can go around the Dark City loop and, uh, and end up facing the right way. <clears throat> I'm not confident. Um, but, uh, you know, it's an adventure. There you go. There's the, uh, there's the renamed Sherma, which is making absolutely no money at all. It's costing me a fortune to run that, and it's because of the amount of time it spends queuing at the flipping roundabout, which is a white elephant beyond compare. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Mainline. Yeah. It is precisely because producers have so many choices for where they can supply their goods that you end up just hoiking goods from one station to another, back to another, back to another, back to another. Now, you're running full all the time, which is ideal, and, uh, and in theory, that should be why this is a, an absolute hornswoggler of a, uh, of a, of a moneymaker, and it can be. But you are moving goods with no real purpose. And if you look even at the bottom of the screen now, you'll see the majority of what I'm taking is raw materials. I'm not taking any secondary material, so, you know, steel and, uh, and lumber and, uh, and refined rather than crude oil. Those are the things that need to be turned into end products. And then if you th talk about end products, so, uh, so fuel or food or construction materials, not carrying any at all. And therein lies part of the problem, because an awful lot of all of the, all of the services that are set up to deliver direct to town... Are, uh, are waiting for deliveries from the main line. And if the main line ain't delivering, then those services are either waiting until they're full or just doing nothing in the slide. I thought I'd treat you to a nice bit of camera just to, you know, just to break things up a bit. Um, or they're doing nothing at all and just costing you money. And that's not exactly ideal. So there's two ways of looking at it. And one of the things that I've experimented with, don't tell me we got straight in, we only did. Okay, now the question is, which way out are we going to go? So we're on the roundabout now. We got straight on it. Uh, and you'll go, well, look, this is still only lost 8 million. You kind of go, yes, because it's done on a, on a, per, uh, a per calendar period basis. Now, if this is right, it won't stop here. And it will instead continue around anti-clockwise as it is currently traveling and zip back out on the freight line the way it just came in, except on the freight line, not the passenger line. I mean, it's definitely not going to stop. That's not in its credo. I mean, we're killing our frame rate by zoomed out this, by being zoomed out this far. Uh, but frankly, all right, so far so good. Now, what we're looking for here is to go down uh, the that side. We want to we want to be going down this side, down this side here, this this side here. Because if we don't go down this side here, it means we're on the passenger line again. Yeah. So where are we? We're on the passenger line again. All right. Well, look, it's just taking the path that it feels most comfortable with to get to the uh, to get to its destination. Yeah. Well, yes. However, what I don't know at the current time is whether or not. It's just been doing this loop endlessly. And you'll go, what, eh? What? And I kind of go, look, it wants to get to Ironforge. It knows these tracks all talk to each other in varying different places. And so it's been up towards or near, uh, to near Ironforge and then has done a UE somewhere, come back again, got as far as the roundabout, done a UE, gone back again, head up to the other end, done a UE. It could be that this train and others that are suffering in a similar fashion are uh, are perpetually confused now. P 
perma confuzzled. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to, to get a better camera angle? Okay, I can do that. Okay, you know what we want? We want here. If we're very lucky, we'll see our hero come uh, come strolling past as, as something's going the other way. I had high hopes for this section, you know. I thought this might lead to a rather magnificent piece of spectacle on a on a on a relatively uh regular basis. Hey, look, look, we've actually tipped into profit in this cycle. Mm, yeah, yeah, I mean, if these mainline services fix themselves, then uh, then maybe we'll get that. Here he comes now, look. Oh, yeah. On the road to nowhere. And by the time he arrives, all of that freight that he's carrying is going to be worth tuppence. Ho-hum. So, what do I propose as a solution to this? Well, I have experimented already by making it, and in fact, I can't remember if it was on this save or not, because I, uh, I I played forward to see if I could unbreak everything, and no, I haven't done it on this one. What I did is I went, no, 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 not that, no, you want uh, this one. No, not that either, you want this one. This one, right, this tells you what you can load at each station. And I went, okay, what if I were to tell each station to only load, say, 10%? of raw materials right it can take 10 percent of all raw materials or it can take 100 percent of anything further down the pipeline but fundamentally only 10 percent of each raw material because that way the raw materials still get to travel and uh and but we we place a higher priority on goods that are closer to being uh to completing their line because what i want to see is i want to see all of this stuff you know pay off disappear get to where it's going I think here he is. This is 88 we're looking for. There we are. Yeah. So you're coming up here. Yeah. Anyway, I tried that. And let me tell you, that's a fast way to bankruptcy. I mean, I was uh, I was a billion in debt within the space of half an hour. <laughs> I know. Crazy. Because uh, for some reason, you can you can make quite a nice living just uh, just endlessly taking a whole bunch of iron ore from one station to the next station to the next station. Right, this is the telltale point. If this idiot takes a left here, then he's doomed. As we pass through Hill Valley again, it's decision time. And uh, if it does take the branch to Miranda here, it will be sold about five seconds later. Because then it means it is in some kind of permanent looping confusion state. So, just... I mean, spare yourself. Stay on the straight line. Don't turn. You turn, you die. All of that business. There we go. We're staying straight. Okay, it's, it's going so far in the right direction. Okay, we're at another decision moment here, but there's there's quite a nice uh, quite a nice shot coming up here. So I thought we'd just uh, we'd swing on in and have a look. Uh, so here's 88. Here's our hero uh, who's going to come through here now. As we approach the Citadel, which is what we're doing right now, there is the opportunity to stay on the right-hand side through a double-track section, or swing over, which is where he's going, he's going over on the other side, uh, or swing over and head on to the left-hand side of the track, which he has done. Okay, you live once more. Because the right-hand side is passenger, the left-hand side is freight, and, uh, and therefore we're all, we're all still singing the right hymn here. Uh, we've got we've got our hymn books open to the correct page. The theory, of course, is that if I fix this train and all the others like it, then we will be back to the magic money printing machine, which doesn't solve the overall problem of freight getting confused and just going willy-nilly all over the place, but it will at least uh, afford me the money to be able to, you know, take on some rare old project with gay abandon and fix it up and make everything cheerful again. Uh, not least of all, I want to replace all of the trains running backwards. I've mentioned it before. I'm mentioning it again now uh, because I want to. All of that. Look at this. Uh, if you want oil and crops, you've come to the right place. If you don't want oil or crops, well, I could do you maybe a smidge of coal or iron ore, but that's not what you want. The raw materials. Just nothing but raw materials. So what should you be doing? Well, okay, let's let's talk about that. What you should be doing is uh is closed loop services yes sirree bob um take your naffy's wagons and chuck them out the window chuck them away they are uh they are a crutch that i use far too often 
uh, to, to be able to operate services like this. Now, there's no harm in having a mainline, a big, chunky, you know, bit of track that everybody makes use of. But instead of running something around that loop, you know, just happily dropping odds and ends off everywhere it goes, no, what you want, swing right or left, actually, it doesn't really matter. Where does this one go? No, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the one you want. Okay, all right, no, it's fine. Never mind swinging right. That would have been a bad move. I tried to second guess you there. See, tried to try to put you off your game. But no, you weren't. You weren't paying attention. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with having a big, beefy bit of track that everybody has. And uh, but get rid of your naffy's wagons and run point-to-point -point services instead. Um, uh, that are self-contained and no longer than they need to be. Employ why don't you a nice bit of uh, wait till full. Personally, I quite like a nice bit of wait till for... Look at this. This road needs updating. Ah, whatever. Um, I, I like a bit of wait till for because I like it when trains sit in the station for a bit. Feels realistic to me. Feels feels more plausible that they would hang around for a while rather than, than pop in, go, all right, Steve, just unloading 480,000 tonnes of cargo before pushing off 30 seconds later. Doesn't make any sense. Um... Now, it's a game, obviously, and therefore it's not going to make sense all the time. Uh, there has to be a certain level of abstraction in order to make it playable. And that's fine, and I'm okay with that, and that's cool and groovy. But uh, at the same time, I do quite like it when they hang out in a station for a bit. Loading times. Longer loading times would be nice. And if you were to, if you were to counteract longer loading times with greater payoff... Yeah, that would that would work quite nice. Or longer loading times with no maintenance while in a station. So your maintenance costs disappear while you're in a station. That would that would probably be the better way to go. Yeah, then you could then you could run more trains because obviously you've only got as much space as you have track. And uh, and by storing some in stations from time to time, you would uh, you'd benefit. Look, I'm thinking on, on my feet here. Okay, we're getting close now. There's Iron Frog. The question is, are you actually going to deliver to Iron Frog? And if and when you do, are you then going to go to Moss Isley or do you have somewhere else in mind? I'll let you know what the right answer is, but you shouldn't need me to let you know what the right answer is. You should already know. Uh, should we ride the, uh, ride the steel horse on the way in? And they called an iron horse, didn't they? Whatever. It's a horse, and it's made of steel quite a lot. All right, going through, this is the uh, the coal and iron and steel interchange remix Armageddon station. Uh, before we go through the brand new, perfectly and expertly constructed, uh, take your pick as to which platform you want to land in, interchange. Look at this, go rattling past this old rust bucket. Love it. Love it. We got a green? We got a green or are we gonna be hanging? No, we got a green. Alright. Bottom one's flashing. Doesn't mean anything. That's just that's just seen. Oh, where are we going? We like this one. Okay. Now, this train might not bounce into profitability when we do the drop-off, but at the same time, it uh, it won't be showing maximum bustedness. Which is what it has been showing since we got started on this Odyssey 20 minutes ago. Let's have a look. All right. Well, it certainly looks like it means business. Uh, the uh, the choose your own adventure station that we've got going on is is working nicely. The question becomes yeah, get this smoke out of my face. Uh, the, the question becomes how much money is it going to make? Is it even going to stop? Oh, that's a question. Yeah, and here comes the answer. Slowing, yes. It could just be waiting for a path. Don't say that. It was waiting for a path. Or it didn't need to drop any of the freight off here. Either way, it's done a stop at Iron Frog, and it's now on its way to Moss Isley. Okay, all right. Okay, this it's it's behaving as it should, but it would have been quite nice if it unloaded some cargo there. It's okay. Uh, it's all right. We'll live. We'll we'll cope. There are there are worse things that one can do. Uh, my hope for this episode had been I would fix one train and then go and fix another train and then go and fix another train 
and rinse and repeat until all the trains were fixed and then go, oh, now just let it run for 10 minutes and uh, let's see how we're doing. Come back and a billion quid back in the bank. That was the plan. No, no, we're going to be following one cowboy on his adventures in the West. One rusty cowboy. This paint scheme has seen better days. Quite like it, to be honest. Entirely battered, uh, entirely battered livery. Not that you could call it a livery particularly, it's black. It's just, you know, solid, I mean, it's very smart, obviously, but uh, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't get carried away and call it a livery. I think that's rather gilding the lily, or liverying the train. Yeah, we're almost there. I mean, that's that's why I'm, I'm giving us some real time here, although saying that, it does look like there might be a bit of a queue. Uh, yeah, okay, all right, that's all right. Sorry, I already know that this queue works it way, works its way through. It gets a bit confused here. Well, they're not so much confused. It gets a bit. Oh no, this might actually be broken. Hang on. This is almost certainly broken. All right. Okay, who are we waiting on? See, because this can't go. All right. Assuming this one wants to go, it's going to Royston Vasey. You're facing the wrong way. Okay, that's train 41. Let's see if train 41 is in the list. Yep. You're facing, you're facing the wrong way. Let's turn it around. There you go. Now you're going to Moss Isley, which is convenient because it's right here. Something's broken. No, it's all right. It might not be. No, no, no. You've got two trains facing one another. Uh, yeah, okay. Which do, You're going to tell me which platform you want. No. Can I fix this by... Just slapping in a bit of extra track here. You can try, and for the moment, you've got the money. Okay, all right, well, we'll try it. I don't think it will necessarily take, but otherwise, why wouldn't I have done it already? I don't know, but there it is. Well, that's done something. Yeah, has it done enough? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Royston Vasey's that way, you dipstick. Now, the tail end of this is going to block this junction, but it should be able to proceed after the junction without being further blocked. Um, thank you, Autosave. Uh, you are the saviour of the hour. There. Yeah. I'm not even entirely sure it's going into the right platform, but hey, I mean, you know, this is a, this is a, a one of those things kind of moment. All right. Let's just make sure it's clear. So this is 41 we're looking at here. All right, 88 is coming up behind it. No, 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 you were supposed to stop there. You were supposed... You didn't stop. You absolute wazzock. Okay, we're going to have to come back to that one in a minute. We don't care about you for the moment. You're, we just needed you out of the way. Uh, right, you're going through. You're still moving. Yeah, as long as everything moves. Frankly, I think this junction isn't up to the task that is being asked of it. It doesn't help that you get an occasional clown that kind of goes, I'm going to Royston Vasey. <laughs> the long way. Are you going, oh, just you, Spanner. Um, right, okay, yeah. Come on there, Electro number. Move it. Get a shake on. Come on. Come on, you're the, you're the problem. Oh, no. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. It's because uh, Engelbert Dingleback here has decided to, to switch there and block the junction. All right, where are you going? Uh, I, well, what a surprise you're a mainline train. Okay, all right. What if I were to give you the ability to ease forward a little? Well, I'll tell you what, actually. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on. Where's, where's this tiddler going? All these problems came about when I made my mainline trains longer. Yeah. I mean, I would say even even the roundabout didn't ruin it completely. I mean, it, it had a good try, but it didn't ruin it completely. Right, it slapped that in there. That will that will ease this next one forward a little bit. I don't think it will do enough. Oh, it's close. It is close, but is it enough? No. Okay, all right, okay. Can we ease this forward a bit? Oh, yeah, you can. You've got 10, 15 feet. Okay, let's go. All right. Move it as far as here. Come on. Up you come. Fixing everything with signals. Oh, why can't you go further? 
Why can't you go further? You shouldn't have a problem here. What platform are you trying to get to? This is the, the Hellmouth, right? Yeah, you're going to Hellmouth Moss Isley. Uh, now, out of all the platforms it could be trying to get to, which one do you think is causing the problem? This one, that's another Hellmouth train. It's currently empty. Ta-da! Yeah, okay. And it can't get out because... Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, hold on. We could fix this. Yeah. I mean, we're putting in non-one-way signals, so we're, we're keeping the flexibility here because obviously people will... Uh, I say people. I mean trains. Uh, obviously trains will move as and when they can. Uh, that's not going to help anything, not unless it completely clears the platform, which it won't. Okay, good times. Um, all right, what are you going to do next there, smarty pants? <sighs> okay. Uh, no, I, okay, I think we're going to have to go back to a solution that, that I had uh, in, in mind a moment ago. All right. Where are you trying to get? You're just trying to go down here, aren't you? What if I gave you an option B? Now, if I gave you option B, which would be to put in a set of points that swings over onto this line, doesn't help. Okay, what if I put in a set of points that I double slip and go all the way over to this one? Now, it may or, I mean, this may do absolutely nothing, but it's not going to stop me giving it a go. Very few things stop me from giving things a go. Even if I slapped another signal on up here, it wouldn't clear enough for the next train to get out, so there's no point in even trying. Uh, go out to here. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, slippity doo da. Okay. And. Now, I don't know what you were thinking there, bruv, but I am not interested. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We've not given up yet. Is this 88? No, it's 59. Okay. That's 88. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Slippity doo da did nothing for us there. Mm. Okay. How's the money? Uh, we're in the red yeah i would rather imagine we would because everything stopped moving up here and obviously everything has a knock-on effect also you want to be you want to be a little bit careful because once the money is gone gone then you are done done right because you can't i'm pausing uh because you can't at that point then build signals or a little bit of extra track to, to potentially unclog the problem. Now, the, the nuclear option that I'm sat on is go, hey, train 59, you're sold. Um, I don't want to deploy the nuclear option, no. You know, you can move a little bit further forwards. Yeah, but is it enough? Nope. We're getting closer, though. All right, well, do it. You might be going, oh, this is a, this is a hellscape of signaling. And you go, yeah, it might be a little bit. But... It's all... Whoa, hey, whoa! Die. That, that, that edged forward a bit. Just need to see this one moving, and then we're golden. All right. How far short are we now? Ding, 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 ding. This is almost as much fun as building it in the first place, you know? Uh, is unborking it after you have ruined everything for everybody. Okay. All right. Now, do you fancy going any further forward? No, you don't fancy going any further forwards. However, what route? You're coming out over here. All right, let's put in a point blocker. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help. How do you think that's gonna help even slightly? It's not even. That's nah, not gonna make any difference at all. Your better bet would be to try and get it off this line by building an additional way for it interesting i don't think it's going to take the line i don't think it's going to take it yeah i know i'm going to try anyway okay this is going to cause you problems later it might do but if it solves problems now i'll take it and go on go on go on go on no do you know what i'd kill for manual override yeah the ability just to drive for a couple of seconds or the other one would be to change a platform assignment in real time. That would be super helpful. But frankly, you should never get into this problem in the first place. No. All right, what are you going to do? I think I'm out of ideas, you know. I think I, I don't think 
there is anything else I can do here. Oh, hold on. I can move this forwards. Okay, right. So you put a signal as close to this junction as possible, right? That shuffles forwards, which clears up space behind it for this, which is not even, not even close to being enough. Not even close. Yeah, but that's only got, got to get its tail end clear of this switch. Or has it? What about a this switch? The shortest junction image is horrible, but you know, it all still counts. Go on, go on, go on. I think it's safe to say if I if I do manage to unpick this without going nuclear, which is you know selling the offending big boy. Um, if I do manage to fix this, I'm going to have to remodel this junction because this is not the last time this will happen. Okay, right, so then we'll take this one and shuffle it down as far as here. Is that the side you want? Yeah, pretty sure. No, it's not. You want it there. Okay, unpause. Cheat. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't be, that won't be counted as a cheat. It's not going to let me just sail through there. You know, because if it did... I mean, to, to do... To do that cheap mode, all I need to do is bulldoze a bunch of stuff. Oh, flipping out, the train's moving. Okay, all right. Well, whatever I just did might have worked. Uh, let's have a look. I think what just happened there is that drove through the back of the other train. Well, you know, needs must. Sometimes you've got to... Ah, I wanted to solve it legitimately, not by having it break. No, 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 it's now going to drive through this. It's now imagining that it's... Oh, I see. You're going, oh, a handy set of points. No, I don't need to wait my turn. In your face. Um, okay. Yeah, he sat there going. What? What's... I mean... I, how am I supposed to respond to that? I've been sat here flipping ages and you're just letting him go. It's like being served in an O'Neill's. Um, right. Actually clear a signal any second, at which point... Matey boy here should clear off. Any second. We're out of money. Any second. Yeah, I've got the loan available, but we don't want to be doing that. Any second now. Any time now. There we go. Right. Good. Okay. Now, given that uh, our finances were on, tick over. Nay, uh, just about break even. Maybe scrape a tiny bit of profit. Then the fact... Oh, we, have we missed 88? No, it's right here, look. <gasps> please drop something off. Please. Please drop something off. Please. Yay! Blimey! That just made 11 million quid in one hit. Okay. Alright, yeah. Reasons to be optimistic right there. Um, I don't know where 59's got to. But honestly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm beyond that now. Right, who's still broken? Oh, you know, loads of them. All right, who are you and what do you do for it? You're waiting for a free path to Moss Isley. Are you anywhere near Moss Isley? Hmm? Don't you eyeball me. Where are you? Oh, crumbs. Uh, you're at City 17. <laughs> you clown. Oh, you're on a one-way track as well. Okay, who's ahead of you? I uh, got this one ahead here. Yeah. And you're waiting for a free path, but you just made, you've just you made money, so you're legitimately waiting for a free path, one imagines. Yes. And then you're, you're coming up here, and you're waiting for a free path. Okay. Yeah. And you... This might be the hangover of unblocking that junction that I just did. Uh, yeah, you're waiting for a free path. All right. Next. Uh, Castle Rock, yep. And you're probably waiting for a free path. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's another another free path waiter. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm overdrawn. If I wasn't over... No, there we go. And the next one up's rolling. Okay, it's fine. It's all right. It's, no, it, it is as described. It's the hangover of that queue that I've just, I've just dealt with. Okay, that's all right then. Well, is it? I mean, 
I mean, we're living on the edge of of uh, of survival here. Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a tricky one, and uh, I don't even know where that comes out. Uh, one would imagine it would go hello at uh, any time. So oh, yeah, you're going down, you're going down this way. Eh? You know, you're you're not even anything I care about, uh, other than the fact that you're losing money hand over fist as well. But that's probably because the main line hasn't dropped any lumber off since ever. Yeah, so there's a mainline train there. Who's that? Oh, it's 88 again. All right, hello, 88. Did you stop there? I hope you did. No, oh, let's check your bank balance. Five million. Yeah, it stopped there. Oh, all right. Well, let's keep watching it and see what happens when it gets to Castle Rock. This is uh, this is fast turning into a uh, a moment of prosperity. Yeah, we're we're 40 million quid in the hole now. Um. Oh, I'm hoping that we can we can make enough money when all of these start operating that uh, that we don't just kind of go well that's your that's your series done then chief I mean we're we're quite close to the end of the series anyway um, I have explored this idea as much as I felt it necessary to do so uh, part of me wants to go back to the roundabout once more. And keep the roundabout, but make it work. And I've got a couple of ideas on how to do that. And I'm sure you would quite like to see it. I'm not sure it's going to work. And therefore, it might just be another four hours spent on something utterly futile. But uh, this is an entire series built on something utterly futile. I mean, Colonel Failure. Uh, while you're away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the other trains earning again. Okay, you've seen the methodology. It's not going to be that riveting. Um, because otherwise we'll end up spending the next episode following another hero train. And I use the word hero very, very loosely. Alright, uh, keep your powder dry, subscribe to this channel for further adventures of a uh, malicious nature. And I'll be back very soon with more of the same. And my goodness me, that's a lot of queuing trains. A lot of queuing trains. Oh, we're almost there actually. That was 88 coming into the tunnel, wasn't it? Yeah, there's 59, look, still utterly clueless. Oh, it's going to City 70. Oh, it's, oh, it's in profit. Okay, all right, fine, 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 fine. Uh, what about you, dipstick? You're going to Moss Eisley? Yep, you're lost. Uh, and this one? You're going to Castle Rock. Interesting. You shouldn't be bankrupt. You should be making money because Castle Rock's your next stop. Hmm. Okay, right, there you go, that's a lot. I'm off. No, I'm going to be incoherent elsewhere. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.